Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to our subject, establish and maintain safe and secure workplace. So last time we talked about um, legislation, talk about legislation and yep, I hope you guys watching the videos. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be continuing this online lesson. <coughs> <coughs> And I made you some assignments for this. And thank you so much for submitting. Now I'll be continuing with the act or action. So, objectives of the act. The act normally gives an over overview of duties and or rights to all those who have health and safety responsibilities or roles. So, the act, it gives an overview or like a general knowledge of your duties, rights for those who have health and safety responsibles or roles. And that is us, me, you, and our bosses, everyone. The act is designed to provide a broad framework for improving standards of workplace, health and safety to reduce work-related injury and illness. So its job is to reduce um, work-related injury and illness, okay? Because why? Why do we don't want this um, workplace illness and injuries? Because one, of course, it can affect our image. Also, it can damage the morale of our employee. It's like um, what if there's someone of your workplace always gets hurt? So you might think that, um, oh no, I think this is not a good um, place or something something like that so different fa factors a lot of factors will affect okay that's why um, this act is serves as a um, serves as a prevention okay they built this to prevent those things from happening next the act claims to secure the health safety and welfare of employees and other people at work <clears throat> okay as possible we can secure the health and safety of um people around us and also us of course protect the public from the health and safety risks of business activities so you pr we protect as well especially this involves with the factories that uses chemicals in the industry okay it's not um it's rarely if it's hotel, but uh, most of the time it will be factory, okay? They protect the people around them, of course. So they contain the chemicals inside it and whatever they are doing. So it will not affect the people around them, okay? <clears throat> eliminate workplace risks at the source. So we eliminate the risks or the dangers around us. So that's why we check the equipment, we update um, information, and we maintain, we do maintenance with the machines that we have so that we can prevent these risks. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> also, involve employee, employers, employees, and the organization in the formulation and implementation of health, safety, and welfare st standards. So this is like something to do with training. So all of us should be involved in training so that we will be knowledgeable about um, health, safety, and welfare standards. We should have a standard. Okay, that's our pride. So if we have that, of course, it will um, be a good um, impact in our workplace. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's it. Then we're moving on again. <clears throat> so I've sent you the books, okay? So you just browse some. If you don't understand, you can translate. Or here in the video, you can just pause and search. Or you can just ask me some questions. Now I have only 15 seconds. So we'll be continuing, okay? So now the next is the act. Principles of health and safety protection. So principles. So we'll be talking about this when we get back. 